today we are going to be doing an unassisted newborn exam. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a few weeks. So the first thing that you're going to want to check is the soft spot. The soft spot usually goes away at around one year. You want to use the flat pads of your fingers to palpate and check for any bulging their heads mold to fit through the birth canal. Now, the cone head will usually go away. Good birth, baby. The cone head will usually go away within 48 hours. Yes, you got another good birth. Yay. You're going to check the placement of the ears as well as his ears already from since he was born actually not just now from since he was born he already had the curl right by his ear some newborns won't have that as yet and that will come within about a week it will slowly gradually start popping away from the head the contractions are five minutes apart 30 seconds long and i'm having an unassisted home birth and I'm so excited to meet my baby boy soon. And the unassisted birth course is what I listen to while I'm in labor. And it's really going to help me throughout the entire labor. I'm going to continue to listen to it throughout. I'm getting a contraction right now. I'm going to continue to listen to it and review it throughout my birth. It's a game changer. You can actually use your fingers to check your baby's mouth if he has a cleft lip or if he's tongue tied as well as his sucking reflex. He started breastfeeding as soon as he came out of the water which was quite impressive. Once the baby's born they're actually going to have a little bit of vernix left on the skin. Vernix is like a white creamy substance to protect the newborn skin. Some babies are born with lots of vernix, some babies are born with a little bit. Some of the vernix comes off in the water during the water birth as well. He was born with a little bit of vernix, but instead of wiping that vernix off with all of my children, I rub the vernix in. The vernix is a very, very powerful substance that the baby is born with. And so for that reason, I always recommend not washing off the vernix. You can delay the newborn bath for one day, two days, five days. It's all up to you. I usually delay the newborn bath until about a week or when the umbilical cord is fallen off and the navel is completely closed. As long as you keep the vernix on the skin for up to 24 hours, you can check the placement of the nipples. Usually the tissue of nipples for a newborn are fairly hard. If you have a baby boy, you want to check if the balls have descended as well as if there is two balls. And then you also want to check that the opening of the penis is in the center. Check the hip placement and the movement of their legs so to count the toes and yes ten cute little toes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten usually newborns will do their first poop within the first 24 hours this is called meconium it's usually a black and sticky ish like poop he actually did his right away probably about five or ten minutes after he was born honestly amazing once again Within the first 24 hours, you should also see them pee as well. Let's check the spine, of course, the hips, the shoulders. Everything looks good. I can hear your lungs so 
baby. want to weigh your newborn baby naked to get to the most accurate weight however of course I'm not going to be weighing him naked on camera so be off by a little bit but not much and wow 12.6 pounds so now we're just going to quickly measure him He's looking about 23 inches in his head. Now, of course, these won't be your measurement. He's looking at around almost 15 inches. He's looking about, about 16 inches. Good job. Beautiful, adorable, and healthy. And there you queens have it. There is a very quick and easy newborn exam. Queens, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, I want you to click that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe. It says subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video.